this is Aroma here. Welcome back to Fuji Bear Bittersweet. We're here with Ryu telling him about the little bits and pieces of our nightmare that we remember. Don't know, but it's okay. I'm not going anywhere. Uh, okay. I'll stay by your side, I promise. Alright, alright, I get it. Let's just go and get some breakfast. Okay. He, he didn't sleep at all last night, did he? I head to the kitchen where I start frying up some eggs and with toast. Why did I call to Ryu in my nightmare? Am I really afraid to lose him? I remember Mina saying that Kenji has had premonitions in his dreams. Maybe the same thing has happened to me. Weird. Lost in my thoughts, I realized I've overcooked the eggs and I burn myself as I try to take them off the pan in a hurry. Ouch! Ryu jumps from his chair, takes my hand and puts it under running cold water in an instant. You need to cool it off quickly. I know, I was about to do that. I was concerned, so I did it instinctively. You were concerned. For me? Seems so. <laughs> He's like, I, I guess. <laughs> How rare. Yeah, it's strange. I don't care much for people in general. I wonder why you're different. Well, it's nice to know I'm different. Thank you for the help. Hmm. Something wrong? Not really. I was just thinking about your dream again. I'm kind of curious what it was about. Can you, like, enter my dreams? Trust me, I'd like to know too. There's no point in dwelling on it for now. We change the topic and forget about it for the time being. August. August 15th. It's already the middle of August and it has been some time now that Ryu isn't the ray of sunshine that everyone knew. It was big news at first, but everyone eventually lost interest. Rumors and gossip faded and Ryu faded into the background. He became a background character. <laughs> Although it doesn't seem to bother him to be treated like he's invisible, I did notice that something is annoying him more these days. He's not good at broadcasting his emotions, but I'm sure I saw him frown this morning. Hey Ryu, um, are you okay? Yes, why? That frown says no. <laughs> you just seem upset about something. How can you tell? I don't show it. Actually, you did early. You frowned just a bit, but I noticed it. Mm, you must have been watching me fairly closely to notice that. I... By the way, how are Iki and Mr. Drama Queen these days? I don't know. Don't really care. So you don't care about how they're doing. Who knows? <sighs> You're the one being upset now. I'm not upset. I'm just frustrated. Frustrated? That I can't read you. Are you that eager to know how I'm feeling? Not eager, but how can I put it? We're good friends now, and it makes me sad that I can't tell when you're happy or sad. Sorry. I know I didn't mean it like it's your fault or anything. It's just, well, I care about you, and it worries me that I don't know when you're hurting. You're worried? Yes, more than I expected. I think I understand. Maybe. After all, I'm kind of concerned too. About you, when something unusual is happening see but the difference is that i'm pretty obvious to read unlike you you definitely are but we can't really do much about that hmm what you talking more help like a status report of my physical and mental state am i a doctor now uh <laughs> well pretty much i suppose you can check up on me daily or i can do it myself if you feel uncomfortable asking i can recommend you several good books about mental and physical health wait are we talking about me or you <laughs> or what i thought we were talking about you might be more difficult to understand my mental health, but at least you can. What? It was meant to be a joke, but you don't- <laughs> But you totally didn't get it and took it seriously. Oh. You know what? Instead of all that, why don't we get out and enjoy the summer holiday? Huh? <laughs> well, I didn't really do anything summer-like since we started school break, so how about the pool? I don't really care, so I'll just go with whatever you want to do. I'll take that as an okay, then. But you don't have a swimsuit. How do you know that? Taku told me. How does he know that? Your mother probably told him. I swear, my family? It always, yep, let's go buy a swimsuit first. <laughs> we soon reached the shopping district in the town's one and only swimwear store. Although the swimsuit selection is mixed, most of the customers are girls. Some of them grin at us, chuckling in our direction. Rude. I turn to Ryu with worry. If, um, if you feel uncomfortable, you can wait for me outside. Uncomfortable? Yeah, people are staring at us. Probably because they think you're a guy picking a swimsuit for his girlfriend. Why the fuck are they laughing then? Huh? Huh? What's wrong with the, uh, a boyfriend picking a swimsuit for their girlfriend? <laughs> Which part should embarrass me. Because I like the idea of helping you pick a swimsuit and being your boyfriend. <sighs> Not falling. Not falling. If I'm falling, please help me. <laughs> uh, uh, what? 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 <laughs> You said it doesn't make you uncomfortable that people think you're my boyfriend. Yes? I raised an eyebrow puzzled. Did he just casually say that he would be okay with going out with me or... You... Okay, if you want to go outside, just say so. That's not a problem for me either. 
Yeah, no, it's just for you. <laughs> Obviously, he wasn't even thinking about his words. No, I'm good. So, do you want to help me pick something? Sure. <sighs> Not falling. <laughs> we pick a few rather plain swimsuits, but when I'm about to step into the changing room, Ryu quickly grabs my shoulder. Wait, this one too. I take a look at the swimsuit he's handing me and smile amused. Pastel pink and frilly, with cute little white stars printed on it. Alright, I'm picking this one. <laughs> this one feels more like something the flashy Ryu would actually choose. Really, I simply thought this one looks adorable like you. Smooth! Mmm, nothing, thanks. I'll try it too. I'm putting that one on first and that's it. <laughs> I hate changing into clothes. I try the swimsuits one by one, not really liking any that much until it's Ryu's picks, Ryu's picks turn. It does look cute with all these frills and ribbons, but how am I going to tie this? Oh, is this one the tying one? I try my best for two very long minutes. <laughs> We were finally giving up and timidly asking Ryu to help me through the curtains. I knew it wouldn't be easy without my help. Why did you pick this one then? Jeez, you purposely did that. Because I also knew you would like the design. You have a point. Come here. No, you come here. I don't really want to come out of the changing room. Alright. He's allowed to just step in here with that? Okay. It quickly finishes and I turn to the mirror. I must admit that you know my taste pretty well. I like it. Great. I turn around and smile, really happy with this choice. Thanks! Your stomach. Hmm? Without any any warning, he just lays his hand over my abdomen. Hello? Cold, your fingers are cold! <laughs> I step back and cover my belly, confused and feeling my cheeks growing hot. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Why did you do that? I just saw it and felt like touching it. Hello? <laughs> well, some things haven't changed apparently. You still don't have any clue about personal space. Sorry, I'll try to remember that. I thought he was going to say I have a punch. That's going to be so fucking rude. As long as you're going... Uh, as long, uh, let me... Let me... <laughs> as long as you're only doing this sort of thing with me, it's okay, I guess. Whoa, Aya, what the fuck? What am I even saying? Okay. Anyway, I'm buying this swimsuit, so hurry and go outside so I can change. Yes, yes. <sighs> Aya. <laughs> After I pay for my swimsuit, we head to the swimming pool. That- this heat is hell. I can't wait to dive in the water. Can we just sit and rest for a moment? I'm a bit tired. Oh, sure. What's wrong? I don't know if it's an appropriate time to talk to you about my worries or if I should keep my mouth shut. I never know when it's okay to talk. Oh, Ryu! Don't worry, if you have something to say, go ahead. Alright. A lot of things have been running through my head recently, and for the first time in my life, I feel a bit lost. I always knew what to do. Every action, every breath, every word was calculated when I was that fluorescent clown. But now I feel like I don't have control anymore. It's a rather, it's a really unpleasant feeling that I don't really know how to handle. Some events, you mean besides Toshio and Iki's fight, and the fact he decides to be your usual self again. Yeah, something is wrong. Something related to my memories is upsetting me, and I can't put my finger on it. Your memories? I don't like it. I don't like not being able to control things, but your presence calms me. Me? Mm-hmm. This is the first time- Sorry if you hear that car. This is the first time something like this has happened to me. At least from what I can remember. I thought about it and tried to compare it to my relationship with Iki and Toshio, but it doesn't seem the same. What do you mean? How can I put it? <laughs> Ryu has so many like long sentences compared to the other guys or like, I don't remember the other guys anymore but I've always been been able to control them whatever fights they may have whatever event occurs in their lives I was always there to repair things backstage and silently watch over them sometimes I also modify things in the background without them knowing it if I realized there was a better way I pushed things in that direction that's a bit scary it's like he's the uh he's a narrator but no he's the author of their lives I wonder if I'm a scary guy. Uh, I mean, at times you're scary, but you're also a good guy and you can tell the difference between right and wrong. Yeah, I could have been a really terrible person, so I'm glad I don't enjoy seeing people suffer. But then when Kenji showed up, I started to lose control of everything, including Iki, Toshio, and even my own life. Kenji again. Yes, I don't know why, he throws me off. I don't want to go near him, even just thinking about him gives me goosebumps. I try to ignore it, but I can't anymore. It's obvious I know him for some time in the past before the orphanage. He's certainly related to my bad memories. I notice a rare frown from him and I try to change the topic. Alright, the orphanage. You never really told me about how it was in there and Toshio was with you, right? Right, what do you want to know exactly? Uh, I don't know, like... What was the average day like? And how did Toshio end up in that situation as well? 
My life in the orphanage was quiet and peaceful since everyone feared me and avoided me the best they could. I observed people in silence, fading into the background, and I only talked or got involved with others when it was really necessary. All the kids were foolish and energetic, especially for children who don't particularly have happy lives, and I got quickly tired of them. <laughs> Until this one particular lone boy appeared. Was it Toshio? Yes, the first human being I'd seen without any aura. This highly piqued my interest. I wanted to know about him. It was as if I found a new toy to play with. He was... <laughs> He was a curious individual, besides the fact that he didn't have an aura, his parents deliberately put him up there unlike the rest of us, and he didn't seem to like interacting with people either. Like me, he was quiet and reminded me of a sad puppy whose owner had abandoned whose owners had abandoned. He was often crying, repeating whispering Iki's name like an incantation which would make him appear. Toshio became my new subject of observation. He was entertaining because he was a new mystery that I felt the urge to decrypt. I didn't know all that. But yes, like I said, he isn't the type to talk about himself to others nor interact with them in general, so it wouldn't be obvious to someone like you. His state actually worsened after a certain incident with the nun working at the orphanage. A certain incident. Child abuse. What? What did she do to him? Psychological and physical harassment. Back then, Toshio wasn't the type to fight back, and his mental state and family issues didn't help him at all. Now I feel bad for insulting him and being mean to him. You weren't mean to him, you just had a reasonable reaction to his behavior, but yeah, I guess he took my advice a bit too seriously. Your advice? Hurt them before they hurt you. So you're pr partly responsible for all those uh, all <laughs> that aggressiveness. Seems so. Not my fault that not my fault if he's that easily influenced. I don't know how he was able to survive on his own like that. Poor poor thing, Aya! He's not a thing! Now you're pitying him? Yeah. Don't do that! can't blame you for that. It's one of the rare reasons I got attached to him. What about Iki? Why did you become friends with him? I was curious about him too since Toshio was desperately trying to summon him. I wonder who this Iki person was and why he was such an important figure in Toshio's life. Makes sense. Now I'm starting to understand why the three of you are best friends. I really didn't plan to get this attached to them, but the more I hung out with them, the stronger our bonds became. I learned what friendship was. That's nice. But recently, recently I think I started experiencing something else. What is it? It's called love. It's called love, Aya. I'm not quite sure and I can't put it into words right now. Oh, okay. When I figure it out, I'll be sure to tell you. He's gonna go Google it. <laughs> yep, speak to me whenever you feel like it. I'm glad he's already so open with me, taking into consideration that I'm worried about him. He might be an awkward guy most of the time, but he really is a caring person. I feel better now. Do you want to go into the water? Yes, let's go. He stands up and extends his hand to me to help me, up, to help me stand up as well. That's the first time you've offered your hand to me. Oh, you're right. I did without thinking. Interesting. I fell into the pool and decided to take it, just take it easy in the hot baths. Afterward, I late. <laughs> it's hot outside. Let's go in the hot bath. <laughs> I mean, I do the same thing with ice cream when it's cold, so I'd... who am I to judge? Afterward, I lazily lay down on my towel when I hear a familiar voice suddenly calling out to me. Ah, yeah, so it is you. It's hard to tell since Ryu doesn't have his pink hair anymore. Amina, what are you doing here? Oh, Mina is so cute with her outfit. Decided to cool down with the boys. We were heading to the changing room when I saw you. The boys, which means... I took my head to the side and bite my lip as I see Tanaka and Kinji walking towards us. Tanaka and... Yep, Kinji. Yo! Oh, Kinji. Oh, go away, go away. <laughs> go away! Hello. Hi. Hey, Mr. Gloom. Me? Yes, you. I'm still so super upset about you shutting down the club, so don't expect me to be friendly with you. I don't really care. Do as you wish. Huh. <laughs> now, now. Why are you mad anyway? I just did what was expected from me as a student council president since you guys weren't following the rules. Then reopen it and we'll make sure to follow the rules properly this time. I have to talk about it with, with the vice pres first, but I still don't care either way. You're worse than Haru, I swear. People do like to compare us. Can't help it, you're both stern moon killers. Mood killers. <laughs> so, um, are you having fun? Is it just the two of you? I think I remember seeing you with two other guys before, right? Oh, Iki and Toshio, perhaps. No, we're not with them today. Ooh, is it a date? It's not. <laughs> hey, Ryu, you don't have dark circles under your eyes. You look rather nice. Ryu and Kenji are clearly avoiding eye contact. I'm gonna buy some drink. I'm um, coming too. Wait, I'll help. Oh, Kenji, please. No, it's not your route. No need. I insist. Don't. 
And if this is some sort of plot to get me to sympathize with you and open up your club again, you're wasting your time. No, I... Leave me alone. Oh, okay. Well, I think that's the first time seeing Ryu that agitated towards someone. Alright, sorry, Kenji. Uh, gotta go chase after our new potential boyfriend, probably. Ryu starts to run away from his interrogator when Kenji suddenly shouts at him, firmly grabbing his wrist. Oh. Trauma. <laughs> Drama is about to start. But anyway, this is where we're going to end today's episode off. This is this is this route isn't too horrible. I don't know if it's gonna get worse like from here on out, but uh Ryu's not that horrible of a guy. He does creep me out in certain parts, but like he he's pretty decent. <laughs> but anyway, thank you guys for watching today's episode. Stay beautiful and I'll see you guys in the next one.